Well, as you know, Katie, this facility is over 100 years old, and right below us, we have a pump plant that still has a lot of its original equipment. Some of it's operational, but most of it we're going through and rehabilitating. So let's go on this underground tour and take a look at the pump plant. All right. So once a year, we have to pump all the water out of that large lock and all the water out of the small lock in order to do some maintenance and do some cleanup down there. So when the Ballard locks were built, the designers knew that that was a feature that needed to be incorporated into the design, and they built this facility down here, or what we call the pump plant. So as you can see, we have a lot of the original motor equipment. And over here, we have some of the original electrical equipment. Now this has been decommissioned since the 1950s, but you can see it's nice, sturdy equipment, and it's very representative of what was used during the period. We've been, for the past three or four years, designing a replacement to this pump plant. A lot of the equipment is cast iron from the original construction. It's really deteriorated, and we had to stop using this facility back in 2009, 2010, and take temporary measures to get those locks dewatered. And right below us houses all the piping and the pumps that are used to make this happen. So let's go take a look. All right. Watch your step. Wow, this goes a long way down. Yeah, so this pump well is about 26 feet in diameter and goes about 60 feet or five stories down. So we're gonna go quite a bit underground here and we'll be able to take a look at what's really going on. So right here is the massive discharge. As you can see, this is a very large opening right here. It's 60 inches in diameter, and it's designed to facilitate all the water that comes from the two large lock pumps that we'll see in a moment, and the small lock pump. Right now, as you can see, we have it all cut open as we go through this construction project. These right here are the shafts that power the pumps. They're attached to the, to the motors up on that motor floor that we took a look at. Right. These are the large lock shafts right here, the, the pumps for the large lock, and they go straight down below us. We'll take a look at that in a moment, what they actually connect to. All right, so down here is the last floor that we can stop at because of the construction that's going on. Right. And you can see these two massive pipe structures right here. These are the actual pumps. This is all original equipment here. Right. And so this is where those drive shafts connect right here. Remember, they go all the way up to those motors on that motor floor we took right. a look at. Yeah. And then here is one of the pipes that eventually goes up to that outlet that I showed you at yeah. that first floor that we stopped at. Okay. One thing that we're changing about this is we're putting in a new system that is completely enclosed down here. So there'll be no more motors that go up, no more drive shaft. That entire motor is going to be enclosed right down here. It's called a submersible pump. So that if water ever does fill up here, those pumps will still be able to operate. Okay. Okay, for our final stop of the tour, we'll take a look at a piece of piping that was removed during construction. So this is original cast iron piping. It was manufactured around 1915. You can see it was stamped right here. It's served us well over the last 100 years, but it's time to retire it yeah. and replace it with some new equipment that will bring us into the next 100 years.